Hey guys and girls, Dragon here. Today we're going to look at gameplay from Killing Floor. It's not exactly a new game, but it is by far one of my favourite games of all time. Uh, I recently had problems with resolution that didn't support it, and I haven't been able to play this game for about a year until you know I finally got in contact with Tripwire, and they explained to me how to put it in window mode so I could change the settings. Um, I have over 300 hours played of this game. Like, I used to be playing it every night, as soon as I'd get home. It's really awesome. Um, basically what it is, if you don't know what it is, it's a, um, a six-person co-op survival. Now, that means that you can have from one to six players. You don't have to have exactly six to start a game, and only it only takes one. Um, and as you can see on this page here, you have like different, they call them perks. Um, or you could call them roles or classes or whatever. Um, and the whole idea is you have to survive a certain amount of waves. Um, it's normally, normally 7 to 10, but it depends on the server settings because, um, you know, some uh, companies host them and you know players host them so it really depends you can also have like custom mods and all that but um, we're gonna start a game shortly I'm just gonna go through the different perks so you got field medic and you can tell yeah I normally only play these two classes here this support specialist and sharpshooter but I am trying to level the others it just takes a long time so anyway you got the field medic he's currently Rank level 5. I don't know if level 6 is still the max. I, I can't remember, but as you can see, you got the perk effects here, so... Um, you got, I'm not going to read them out to you, but you guys can um, have a look at them. Field Medic, he just... Uh, he, he can do damage as well. They also each have their own guns, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, quickly, I'll show you guys, because there's like a spawn timer. Support Specialist is pretty much like the... Uh, the support guy. He's mostly close, uh, close quarter combat sort of um, roll, like shotguns. He can also weld doors, as you can see, um, faster welding and unwelding. Um, yeah, and that's the max that we can get. And it could have changed. Uh, sharpshooter. He's pretty much the uh, sniper rifle guy. Can use his, you know, use his crossbows, hand cannons. And well, now they force to put new guns in the game. That is pretty cool. Magnum, M14. Uh, the Commando is pretty much meant to be like the leader of the group. He just uses like semi-automatic guns. And his role is uh, pretty much... He can uh, see, as I say here, he can see like uh, cloaked units. Yeah, he can see cloaked stalkers from 14 minute, uh, meters. He can see enemy's health as well. So that's always good to know. If you've got one on his team, on your team, and he calls out like the uh, boss's health, which I'll explain a little bit later. Oh, uh, you got the Berserker. He's pretty much the insane melee guy. He uses yeah, uh, katana, chainsaw, knives, swords, machetes, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, he, he's you know he doesn't take that much um, melee damage himself. Firebug is pretty much what you think. Um, He's got like five grenades as well as flamethrower and he just burns all the zombies and demolitionist uh, just blows everything up. He's got like yeah, remote explosives, he's also got like uh, he's also really good with the rocket launcher and the um, grenade launcher. Uh, then you got uh, the portrait which you can, um, well you can switch between but you can change your character. Some you have to unlock through achievements, others you have to buy the DLC. I did get like one or two DLCs. Uh, this guy here came with uh, Red Orchestra 2. Not bad, that's what everyone else sees me as, but it's a first person shooter, so... Oh, enough about that. Uh, what I'm going to do is, it might take me a while to find a game. Uh, so... Be back shortly. Okay, we're back. Um, it looks dis uh, disoriented and all that. It's just some effect you got in spectator mode. If I click, I can watch them. Uh, so these, I joined this server with um, five people already in it. This map is, uh, it's, it's challenging enough. Uh, it's not the best map. I don't, I don't really know it that well. 
And like I said, I haven't played in years, so if I die straight away, I apologize. I used to be like badass at this game, like you can ask any of any of my teammates. Uh, I normally played on survival, um, yeah, hard in survival mode. Uh, they bring it basically difficulties go easy, normal, hard, survival, and hell. And hell is exactly as it sounds. I can't, I can't even get past like wave seven by myself. It, it, it's really difficult. Um, this is just a normal server until I remember how to play this game. Uh, it, hopefully, it comes back to me quickly. Uh, I'm going to try and explain while shooting. I know that's not the the best. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just healing other players, and that actually goes towards my medic. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to give me any money. No, they probably don't have any. Okay, um... There's a lot to explain in this game. So, like I said, you, in this server there's 10 waves. The way you get money is by killing... Um, uh, I can't fight that dude. Because, um, I'll explain the different zombies and stuff later. Uh, but this guy's pretty much fire resistant because he also shoots fire. Which I really... but so do I. Uh, here's another one. Great. So, I won't take that much damage from fire, but uh, neither will he. So, the whole idea, like I said, survive the 10 waves. Once you get past the 10 wave, uh, you fight the boss, which is called the Patriarch. And I'm almost out of ammo. This is not good, but looks like we're okay. So, I just gotta get a couple of kills that don't spawn behind me. Whoop. Try and save him. Headshots are critical shots, so you can. Uh, come here, come back here, come here. So you can um, kill zombies faster that way. Like I said, I chose six people because one, it's easier to try and talk than trying to survive by myself. Now, if one person on your party dies, it's not the end. If all your, t your squad dies, then it's the end. So, like I said, it's a co-op, so you've got to try and help each other out. You can lone wolf it, but it takes skill. Or well, just lower the difficulty. Normal's not so bad. In the later waves, you'll see it get pretty hectic, but on, on uh, hard and above, it can get really tense at times. Uh, so, let's just have a look. So, um... These guys on my team, they have their levels next to their name. So this guy is a level 1 uh, sharpshooter. This guy here is a level 2 commando. Then we got a level 2 sharpshooter. Uh, level 3 support specialist, I think I saw. I'm trying to analyze this game and do stuff at the same time. It's awesome. There we go. He's going to die eventually. Okay. Actually, I don't know if I know this map. Coming to think of it. Basically, this game went on sale on Steam for like three bucks, and people just went nuts and brought it. So there's going to be new players on here um, that are really uh, low-level perks. Um, yeah. And after every wave, you get a short amount of time to go see the trader, which is where you buy guns. So first thing I'm going to buy is. Uh, that, see if I can get the flamethrower, yes I can. Won't be able to buy all ammo, but enough. Ask for more money. I don't know if these guys are friendly or not. Uh, no. So we got a level 1 commando, level 1 sharpshooter, level 2 commando, level 2 sharpshooter, and level 3 co uh, support. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to burn stuff until later perks. 
and then I'm gonna switch perks, but you can do it at once at the end of every wave. Let me just explain um, the zombies. So you got the slow moving melee ones, which is that see that white one no, that dies really quick. There's the one behind the screaming chick right there that I'm burning now. They're called uh, clots. They normally spawn in the first wave, along with the gore fast, which are the red ones with the machete looking thing on his arm. They live up to their name, which means they, once they get in within a certain range, they will charge and they move faster than you. Um, and slash. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, I also got fire nades. I'm going to throw a nade and hopefully they go on fire, if there was anyone there. Okay, let's try. Oh, they're going to block my nade. Okay, you also got the really annoying um, crawlers. Which are the little spider looking things. Uh, you also got the sirens, which are those crazy granny chicks that scream and they can blow up any like um, explosive projectiles going their way, such as nades or rockets or um, yeah, oh, grenade launchers. So. There's also, there's not friendly fire in this game, but if you like to say the fire rocket behind this dude, uh, you would get hit. So any explosive can hurt you, like uh, a grenade, a, um, a proximity mine, I can't remember what the exact word Pipe bomb, I think they're called. Primary. Uh, yeah, they can also hurt you. Way we up to five. I'm not going to get a lot of kills as the uh, flame bug, but it's all good. Just going to follow these guys so I can keep talking. Um, you got the bloats, which we, which you saw there. They're really, really big guys. They spit acid. Um, and that blurs your vision. called Huskers or something, I can't remember their name exactly. Um, they're the ones that shoot the fire. This massive guy with a chainsaw on his arm is the uh, Scrake. He is he's pretty tough to kill, he's got a lot of health. Um, takes a lot of bullets to take him down. Uh, I'm not in any danger yet. So if we get cornered we're in a lot of danger. But I'm just going to throw this, hopefully they go on fire. See it. Uh, oh yeah, they went on fire. Unfortunately, as a flame guy, um, the the fire nades don't do any impact damage like a normal nade would. Uh -huh. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, those sirens, they also shake your screen. Uh, and they're really annoying because they move slow, so half the time they you run away from them and they respawn behind you. Looks like we're back in this same room. How exciting. Um, uh, in the coming waves, I don't know if it's the next wave, I think it's the wave after, it's the uh, the Flesh Pounders. Now they are the toughest zombie before the boss, but you can also heal yourself in World Doors and all that. Um, I think there's Plank on the way. What they are is they have like a... Yeah, the plane's getting in the way of my flame. Oh, crap. Damn, plant. They got like a yellow light on their stomach. And when it's like yellow yellowy orange it, uh, he does like normal damage and takes normal damage when it's red it means he's angry so he takes less damage and he does double damage 
or does he take more damage? I can't remember. I know he does double damage, and he's a big, scary-looking guy too. Like you'll know when you, when you see him. He also charges uh, really fast if you, you know, uh, try and run away from him. I'm gonna try and save up for this. That's a new gun. You can look here, you got power, range, speed, um, over here you can buy bullets separately if you can't afford the autofill. You also got your carry weight down the bottom left. Um, I'm currently carrying the max what I can. So... Yeah, next wave I'll switch. Oh, I might stay flame bug, we'll see. It has its... It obviously can't help with like the bigger dudes, but that was a clot. Uh, it can it can come in handy for the boss because um, let me explain the boss's abilities. He's basically like the biggest, baddest dude you come across in any game. Oh, that guy took the hit for me. Thank you. He. Um, Moving. His attacks are, he's got a, like a, a fist or fist that comes out of his chest, so it's like a, a really strong melee attack that hurts for heaps. Um, he's also got like a minigun, which hurts a lot, like all his abilities really hurt. And the best way to deal with the, uh, any of his abilities is to line aside him and make him come to you. He's also got a cloak, like the like those invisible chicks that you saw. They're called stalkers. Um, I don't know if we can see any. He might be. Oh, there's a scrape coming moving. Now, one thing um, is, if this guy got in the way, I would burn myself. Whoop! There's another scrape. Okay, should really help heal that guy. And he can also heal himself when he gets to um, a quarter health. There's a stalker. That chick there. Uh, we've got many strikes coming. Wolves. Crawlers. Can't hear that door, can I know? I might heal myself while I wait. There's only 17 zombies, they're probably all up there. Ah uh, yeah, so uh, I think we'll get to the boss. If there's six of us on, yeah, it's less, it's more risky, but now oh, let's heal this guy. Okay. Yeah, this red blob thing just leads you to the trade, as you guys probably guessed. Should I switch? Uh, I'm gonna actually try because it's been like. Obviously, new maps and new guns since I last played this a year ago. Uh, because I'm at max carry weight, if you pull your knife out, you run faster. I don't know if I explained that. Uh, I can't afford it. That's probably a loss on my part. So next wave, I should be able to get that. Awesome. Yeah. So this guy's obviously got a DLC where he looks like a Ghostbuster, or a wannabe. Actually looks like a pest man, doesn't he? Um, even though I'm not field medic, as long as I'm healing him I still get points towards it, because leveling a medic is really annoying. It takes forever. And we can hear the Flesh Pounder coming. So I'm just going to try and clear the exit for us while they deal with him. Yeah, they don't know about him, now they're all going to die. There he is, he's, he's yellow now, so now he's red. Uh, he's doing double damage. Alright, so they took care of him. Somebody on this door. Just going to hopefully set someone on fire. Oops, or set him on fire. That's never good. Oh, we've got a Scrake here. Two Scrakes. I don't know if he's going to live. I don't know if I'm going to live. 
Now this gun here is called the Mac 10. Like I said, each each perk is the own guns. That they um, as they level up, their their guns do more damage. But you're welcome to use other guns. You just don't get obviously you obviously don't get the discount. And yeah, they they obviously don't do the improved damage. I just didn't want to be any money that flesh pounder. Just gonna relight quickly. Whoa, he's angry. Uh, an amount of flame to ammo. Uh, got another flesh pounder. Man, it's, uh, I guess because it's a full server. Reloading. Okay. Um, they can attack each other. Looks like we have to run a little bit. Uh, don't play with them. Shoot them. Uh, we're fine. There's only five left. Let's throw a nade down there. Oh, that's unfortunate. But he's back up now. Because the rest have survived, he can respawn at the end of the wave. Uh, yes, I can now afford that, um, that new gun, so let's, can, let's try it out. It might still be on special on Steam. Maybe they put that as a set price from now on. Uh, it was like $3 US or something. Even then, the game's not e um, expensive. It's always been around $15, $20. I, I really enjoy it. It's one of my favourite games of all time. I'm just gonna... Uh, no, I can't. So I must replace... Yeah, it replaces the plane, so... Okay, so... This looks interesting. I'm just gonna heal them. If you heal yourself, and you're not a medic, it normally takes a while to recharge. It was fun having you all, but you're on your own for now. Stand still, I'll stick together. That's what they're called, husks. Looks like we welded ourselves all the way in. Oh, it's a flesh pounder. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty cool. That charges up. Looks like they're coming through here. Um, if you roll the doors, eventually, as you can see, they try and break them down. Nice. It's like a fire torpedo. Oh, they might have broken through the other door. Yeah, she can aim down sight, so I don't ever really do it because it uh, slows down movement. And as you'll notice, I'm all constantly running and turning around. Especially if I'm like the. Uh, Man, this guy won't die. There we go. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's probably got its advantages over the flamethrower and disadvantages, but you get that with all the perks. Basically, we're going to play until the boss. Uh, I'll heal this guy. 
if he doesn't die before I get a chance to. Yeah, very load. I know someone else should heal him now, yep. These guys are no real threat. On hard, obviously. The best thing to do is when you come across um, clots, uh, you run out of ammo because the, the zombies are obviously stronger, so they take more bullets, and you don't get as many bullets. Uh, I don't think you get as many bullets, you don't get as many refills. Like every now and then you'll see like these glowing boxes on the ground. They give you ammo back. You can also find body armor and guns laying on the ground. And you can pick them up if you can uh, carry them. Uh, we got a flesh pounder. And that missed. But I got the husk. Oh, I actually killed him. She, yeah, she does reflect that. Oh, she took a flame bolt to the knee. Damn. I'll just wait for this thing to go away. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! Yep. I forgot about that. Thank you. All the um, doors respawn that got destroyed at the end of the wave, so it, it comes in handy. And yes, there's like, uh, you got voice chat, like you can use your microphone to chat to the others, and you got in-game chat, so you, you know, there's there, and you can ask for money, or... No problem, mate. Yeah, say whatever. I guess you guys can guess what happens if, um, you don't make it to the trade on time. This is a really... I hate being cornered. I really hate being cornered. But yeah, I can knife this guy and he won't take any damage. It's just something you do when you're bored. You also got a flashlight. Certain guns can have the flashlight attached to them. By default it's the pistol, but you can also have shotguns. Uh, yes, you can knife the... Oh, they didn't shoot him. Here's a flesh pounder. Oh, that was a bad aim. Oh, you better get it. Oh, and there he goes. Someone got a headshot on him. Well done. Move, guys, move! Try and I'm gonna be lazy this wave and let these guys handle most of it. I'm just gonna pick off the odd zombie instead of trying to do everything. Oh, oh. Yes, you can line aside the scream. Obviously, that one couldn't. Lol, you're not actually gonna stand there. I should really aim at the size for this thing. Oh, scrape coming with the invisible chick in front of him. Yeah, a lot of screamers this round. Guys, there's another visible chick I can hear. There we go. So obviously, you know, camping doesn't look exciting, but I'm pretty sure these guys are new to the game, so let them have their way. Oh. Oh shit. This is never good. It's 
live, dude. No. So right, that guy's back up. Oh, no. If he, the problem uh, I found mostly is if you don't sort of leave yourself some money, and the people with you, like I don't know, these guys, they're just random. Uh, they don't, either they don't know how to give money, or they don't want it. And I mean, it's a co-op game, so you want to help each other out. I can, I can purchase a pipe bomb, but I will be. Out of money, because you can see it's in euros there. Because it's ob money. obviously a you know, company in England. It's going to go around and kill everyone. That's why all the accents are in the uh, British or English. Nice toilets here. Uh oh, I hear flesh powder. Oh no. Yes I do. Move. Oh, uh, someone died to a flesh pounder. Oh, there goes. Oh no, I thought it was at 7. Oh, there's a flesh pounder. As you can see, he's pretty much annihilating my squad here. Oh yeah, you can also get Z time, which is like the... Uh, which is a slow time, it can save your life and it can be extremely annoying, so... I won't waste too much of that. Damn, bad time to reload. Yeah, my screen's all shaky. Oop, they're running. This guy might die. You might die, bro. You got yourself trapped. Uh, can I just get that guy? Oh, uh, we still got a hundred. Try and nade there because guaranteed me more. Right, I'm just going to heal these. Oh, I should have healed myself. Can't heal myself to 100 now. You can see the recharge in the bottom right next to my grenade count. So I'm just going to heal myself. Make sure I've got not had no bullets in that. Very bad. These guys do not want to get spit on. Let's try that nade. Give them a bit of. Damage over time effect. There we go. Oh, so this is the uh, last wave before the boss. That's why it's so difficult. We have uh, one death. See, uh, I'm not doing too well. I've only got 326. Uh, that's not too bad as a firebug. But as a um, sharpshooter support specialist, that's, that's, that's pretty bad. Now, you might think to yourself, well, 50 zombies, that's not too bad. Yeah, when they're all on you at the same time, it's, it's pretty difficult. We're just lucky they're split up at the moment. Now, that's not to say that there's not a flesh pounder, or at least, you know, another two flesh pounders around that can easily wipe out our squad. Uh, hit me, guys, I'm fire resistant. Um, uh, I don't know if I said this already, but the, ga the game scales. So if you have, like, just you, the zombie. Yeah, okay, we got one. Another one. There we 
go. Oh, he's still alive. I hear him. Come on, guys. You're not going to get each other. Oh, there's only one left. Okay. Oh, it's obviously not there. Okay, here we go. Patriarch. Like I said, he's got a minigun, a rocket launcher, a cloak, a melee, and he can uh, heal. Also, the most devastating thing he's got is a rocket launcher. It does splash damage, so if it hits a wall, it's still going to uh, hit you directly. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're wearing armor. Goodbye. Oh, I'm normal. I think it scales down a little bit less. But yeah. I'm actually going to go to flamethrower for this, and I can't carry the pipe bombs otherwise I would. The reason why I want the flamethrower oh, for this is uh, it, uh, it's just easier to control, for one thing, and secondly, if he goes invisible we can sort of follow him because the little flame animation still like on his head. This is the worst room because, like I said, you have to line of sight the, the minigun. Oh, we've got a commando saying how much he's got. Uh, if he comes this way, guys, we are dead. Just so you know that. So I'm actually going to stand here. See, that's one of those ammo boxes I was telling you about. Now, if we hear one on the pipe and this door starts shaking be nice behind it now he's on his way to us he could be close yeah he's here don't weld it oh, okay Wait a so I'm just gonna try and spam uh, take this hit. Hopefully we can kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him before he gets away! Kill him before he gets away! No! Oh, he got away. Okay, he's gone to heal now. Oh uh, well. So yeah, he's gone to heal back up to three quarters health. Uh, we don't know where he is, but as you can see, he also spawns ads when he goes to hill to try and keep you busy. Worst case scenario, you don't actually hear him say one in the pipe, which means he's shooting the rocket launcher, and then next minute you're dead. Here he is. Now I'm gonna get hit. Might get hit a second time. Yep, there we go. So I didn't expect us to kill him that time. Uh, last guy might get him. Let's find out. Uh, if he, what is he level two? Yeah, maybe. If he gets lucky, he won't heal as much because it's just him now. But it'll still take at least three, four clips of what gun he's using. If you'd like to see more killing four gameplay with different maps and all that, let me know. But, uh, like I said, it's just one of my favourite games. I highly recommend it. As you can see, he had the invisible. I shot him so he could, um... Nah, he's dead. There you go, there's that melee attack. That's what he looks like. Once you kill him, that's it. You win the thing and you go onto a new map and you do it all over again. So, it might seem repetitive, but... Obviously, it's a new challenge because you don't know where the zombies are coming out of and different maps and... You play a different role, so... Anyway, that was Killing Floor. I'm going to keep playing for a little bit, try and get the hang of it again. If you'd like to see more, leave a comment below. Uh, also, remember to subscribe, like or dislike, and I'll see you guys next time.